It's Saturday morning magic. We're chilling. Got our coffee. Oh, my cup's a little gross. So we're going to take a look at some videos. I believe they're both professor videos. And then we'll check out the news um, from Wizards of the Coast. And then we're going to play the free Amonkhet draft um, on Arena. So well, that'll be fun. It'll especially be fun because I know nothing about Amonkhet. Never played it. It's just old enough where um, I haven't had any time in the that series. Um, and it'll be interesting. I will be doing a lot of card reading because I don't know any of these cards. Um... Yeah. Let's jump in. So the first thing we're going to look at is the news. I'm just going to turn down this metal a little bit. Magic has a companion app on uh, both iOS and Android. And basically, it is live events. Um, recently. Not the command zone app for life tracking, which is how many people use it, but I have the Dragon Shield app and it controls and keeps track of my entire library of cards. I can then build decks within um the Dragon Shield app, and it shows me uh, daily, weekly, and monthly uh, sales numbers. So it will tell me if any of my cards are getting a little crazy in price. Right now, Underworld Dreams just broke $100. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I really love this app. I Every time I open packs, I scan all of my cards with this app and get them in there so that my library is up to date. And that way, if I'm ever trying to build a deck or looking to buy a seat, Um, gatherer.wizards.com and this is a great website for searching for cards uh, you can find any card you're looking for it will tell you the sets it came in it'll tell you when it was printed it'll tell you um, all the card text yada yada this is a great app especially if you want to like download images of cards and use them in overlays or use them in videos um the amount of drop frames on my stream right now is worrying me uh okay so Basically, what they've done is they've updated the app, the companion app, to include the gatherer database, which is okay. The, the only thing I like about this card database over any other card database on the market is that I can search, um, I can do advanced searches, which lets me, you know, 
choose creature type, and then I choose uh, subtype dog, and I can um, include or exclude certain colors or mana values and, and get a whole list of everything the Wizards has ever printed. And you get to sort of trust it because it's Wizards database, so they know what cards they've made, and as someone who doesn't know every card and is fairly new to magic, I trust that the Wizards designed card database is going to tell me exactly the right card and it's not going to give me <clears throat> pardon me it's not going to show me a card that doesn't exist which i haven't run into in the third party apps yet but i do have a slight concern about um however again i would much prefer the dragon shield app over any other app right now um it's very easy to scan things. It's very easy to look at the market prices. Um, hold on, it says I'm disconnecting. And, and that's the gist. It's, Magic has updated their app to include the card data. The only thing that this app is good for is joining and hosting um, official Magic the Gathering events, especially if you're going to play in a store or your LGS um, or at a GP. It will tell you when your matches are. Um, you can track life totals. It's not the greatest um, life counter um, available, but it's, it's not terrible. Again, I prefer the um, command zone life counter. Uh, here, I'll just show you a quick one. I prefer the command zone life counter. I know it's commander, but uh, you can easily change it so that the starting life is uh, 20 instead of 30 or 40. Um, it keeps your phone awake. It's sleek. You can support... Um, other channels and stuff like Telerian Community College and the Command Zone, and you get cool little backgrounds for your squares. It's, uh,